Hello there, my fellow guardsmen, and welcome. Welcome, sooner than I expected even, to part two of the infamous Imperial Infantryman's Uplifting Primer. I made part one from this more as a joke video last week, but it did get some views, so now you get part two. Hollywood one-on-one. Also, another noteworthy thing I feel I should tell you is that I had to rethink my approach on how I'm gonna narrate this. Initially, I wanted to cover one chapter per video, but the length of the chapters turns out to be rather uneven. So, I'll just try to cover specific topics within the primer and pretty much disregard the overall chapter order. I will also not be narrating the entire thing word for word, as some bits of it are quite boring, to be honest. As far as today is concerned, though, I wanted to talk to you about training and guard duty, as well as provide you with a very comprehensive list of items and war gear within the standard regiment. This list is actually even more interesting and in-depth than the war gear stuff I discussed in previous guard videos. Of course, all of this holy information will be brought to you by Lord General Militant Hoxlow. I am your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us learn more about the minutiae of guard life, shall we? Chapter 1, Section 3 Training and Guard Duty As an Imperial Guardsman in the Immortal Emperor's indomitable armies, stationed in the turbulent eastern sector of the galaxy, you will face many dangers and enemies. However, you will not always be in the field of combat. An unpredictable portion of your time will be spent in billets on your garrison planet or in transit aboard a spaceship. During these periods of respite, the Imperial Guard will instill in you many important lessons. Your daily routine is devised to mold you into a very potent weapon, a weapon that the Immortal Emperor can use to best our many foes. Details of the training regime will differ from regiment to regiment, depending on their individual skills, traditions, customs, and established practices but the underlying principles are universal, and the indoctrinated timetable, however modified by each regiment, is the established way to achieve these principles. The prevalent purposes for the training regime, as defined by the Tactica Imperium, are to promote loyalty for the Imperial Guard and the Immortal Emperor, to instill unswavering respect for the chain of command, to bestow a clear understanding of your position in the command echelon, to provide adequate training in the use of all issued equipment, arms, accoutrements, and tools, to provide basic training in elementary battlefield protocol, to administer mental and physical hardship in order to provide the best grounding to cope with the things you will in all likelihood face to ensure awareness of the correct behavior during combat and non-combative periods of duty, to provide rigorous training in how to recognize and contend with heresy, apostasy, dissidence, impiety, and questionable behavior in those around you. The ways of achieving these most salient of aims will be determined by each regiment's command cadre, and you will be fully briefed on any changes as they are decided. Rest assured, though, the way will not be easy, and failure to meet these tough requirements will have very serious consequences. Aside from actual combat, the training program is the most important function of your time in the Guard. Listen to your superiors and trust in the Immortal Emperor to give you the strength to see it through. Another major part of your soldiering routine will be spent on Guard duty. The importance of guard duty cannot be underestimated. The safety of Imperial Guard property and men could be put in intolerable jeopardy if guard duty is not carried out with sufficient zeal and dedication. The death penalty for any laxity is in place to ensure that everyone complies with this ideal. Details and times of guard duty will differ according to the regiment situation and security standing. However, no matter what the current situation is, 
When on guard duty, you must assume the safety of the regiment is questionable. You are protecting the military men, machines, property, and territory. This means that you are a target. The nature of the guard duty may require you to remain stationary. For example, if you are safeguarding the entrance to a command headquarters or a gun emplacement. Or it may require you to follow a patrol path, such as around the perimeter of your compound. If this is the case, try to make your pattern as irregular and hard to predict as possible. This will make it more difficult for any infiltrators to find a way in. Always keep a sharp lookout and concentrate on the job at hand. If you have access to Luxamp goggles or any visual aid, do make use of them. Report any suspicious movement or sound, but do not raise a false alarm. This may require you to investigate the cause of the alarm yourself. However, do not leave your post. The enemy may be trying to lure you away in order to effect an entry. The cardinal rules to remember when on guard duty are Stay alert. Stay awake. Keep in mind the importance of duty. Think of the consequences of failure. Remember the commissars. You should obtain the following information before taking your post. Direction and probable route of approach for the enemy. The sector you are required to watch. Names of terrain features of military importance within sight, like outposts, gun emplacements, and roads. Location of nearest friendly detachments and the means of contacting them. Number and location of your own outguard. Whether patrols or other friendly units are operating to your front. Instructions concerning challenging. And what to do in case of attack. Let only officers and detachments you recognize pass. If anyone else approaches, call your squad commander. Keep them covered at all times. If the challenge does not stop or attacks you, shoot them. If the enemy attacks, raise the alarm by firing your last gun on full auto. Pass on to the sentinel who relieves you all the information and instructions relating to the post. Above all, do not leave your post. Chapter 2 Issued Arms, Attire, Apparatus, and Equipment Section 1 General Introduction On becoming an infantryman in the Immortal Emperor's glorious Imperial Guard, you will be issued with a standard set of equipment. Upon becoming a component of the Imperial Guard, however this may have occurred, you have forfeited your freedom and rights as a citizen of the Imperium, in return for the glory of fighting for the just cause of our immortal Emperor. The Imperial Guard also takes it upon itself to feed and clothe you, and provide adequate medical care when this is inevitably required. Another part of this compact involves the Imperial Guard charging you with a certain amount of equipment and hardware. These equipments remain the property of the Imperial Guard for all the time that you have them. It is your most grave responsibility to retain this equipment in its entirety and in perfect working order at all times. This section of the handbook will tell you precisely how to do this. Failure to read, understand, or adhere to these instructions will have severe repercussions. Complacency of, or disrespect towards your kit will not be tolerated. Be warned, weapons and arm inspections are carried out on a routine basis, but random checks are also instigated with regularity. A soldier's kit is designed to aid him in his endeavors, both in billets and on the field of battle. Every item in your possession has a use, and all are designed to ensure that you are the most potent weapon that the Immortal Emperor can expect you to be. Always remember that you are a weapon. A man is the most powerful weapon in the universe, possessed of great strength, fortitude, valor, and purity. Your kit will help you fulfill your boundless potential to crush the foe, the alien, the unclean, the heretic, wherever they may hide. Section 2. Arms, Equipment, and Accoutrements On the day of your enlistment, or draft, you were given all the vital equipment needed by a soldier of the Imperial Guard. Some details may differ from regiment to regiment, but certain standardization does exist. 
Below is the list of customary items you will be expected to carry with you when on active duty. 1. The list of attire. Combat fatigues, shirt, undershirt, four pairs of socks, undergarments, greatcoat, rain overalls, combat boots and laces, full body flak armor, webbing, leg gaiters, belt and holsters, bandoliers, field rucksack with straps, helmet with or without microbead pickup. 2. The list of arms, ammunition and maintenance of. Short pattern MG standard last gun, 4 spare power packs, a long pattern bayonet or combat knife with sheath, an auto pistol with 5 spare clips and holster, 4 frag grenades, a blessed range finder, last gun maintenance kit consisting of Blessed Sight Calibrator, Sanctioned Cleaning Agent, Oiling Agent, Bottle of Sacred Unguent of Cleansing, Bottle of Sacred Oil of Lubrication, A Tin of Blessed Sealing Wax, and A Blessed Soft Cloth for Swabbing, Muzzle Rod and Swab, Holy Toolbox with Repair Instruments, Spare Last Gun Stock Engraved with Icon of Faith, Spare Last Gun Barrel Engraved with Icon of True Shot. 3. List of tools 970 Entrenching Tool Hand Axe Multipurpose Tool Kit Standard Issue Lamp Pack 4. List of Medical Supplies Standard Swabs Salt Tablets Water Purifying Tablets Food Supplement Tablets Guard Issue Medipack Consisting of Gauze Bandages Vein Clamps Lotion of Embalm 4 vials of morphia, sterilizing fluid of cleansing, cleanse surgical grapple, synth skin canister, sanctioned insect repellent, blessed lotions, acid, alkali, medicinal tonics, tablets, and internal cleansers. 5. List of all other items. 4 sandbags, a mess kit consisting of spoon, knife, fork, mug, and tray, canteen, collapsible water bag, canvas sack, blanket, sleeping bag, field glasses, gas respirator, spare boot laces, dry rations, dog tags, tent with pole, rope and pins, whistle, imperial infantryman's uplifting primer, adhesive tape, tinder box, grooming kit consisting of white soap, dry scrub brush, shaving brush, two razors, toothbrush, and tooth powder. Only in death does duty end. And that, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you from the Imperial Infantryman's Uplifting Primer for today. If this video gets at least a reasonable amount of views for my channel, I will do my best to turn this into an actual series with probably one weekly episode until we finish it. If you guys enjoyed this, do let me know in the comments below. If you guys want me to cover a specific section of the primer, also feel free to let me know in the comments. Was this video informative or entertaining? In that case, please click the like button and subscribe for more content. Thank you very much for watching, and I wish you all an awesome day. The Emperor protects.